court's review process uh, yielded over 116 uh, underutilized degrees at institutions around the state of Missouri that will be phased out, which will continue to lean up and focus on excellence in these higher education areas. I appreciate uh, each one of the 13 institutions of higher education and each one of our community colleges coming forward with those uh, programs that they would back off on. Uh, that, that's a process we started at a higher education <coughs> summit last summer, paying dividends, and I think it will pay dividends uh, for us uh, in the future. Uh, Governor, I have a partly parochial question. Over the last couple of years, because of the budget situation, you've reduced the size of the state workforce. Is there a danger that we're going to cut into the state workforce too much so that the business of state government can't get done or we've messed with the morale of state employees so much that they just check in, do their job, and check out without providing the extra service that you've been saying they have been provided? Uh, we have had to, to lean up the workforce by about 3,300. Um, it has take about $1.8 billion out of the budget of the state tried to make those um, cuts at the places I thought were the most appropriate to make them. Um, it is never easy. Uh, uh, many, I'm looking at the room here. I, people in this room have had to, had to let folks go. And many of you have uh, uh, certainly know people in the industry you're in that, uh, uh, that uh, have, have uh, had their careers. And that's never an uh, easy or good decision in any way, shape, or form. Even when we're talking about making government more efficient for anybody to think that, that any of those decisions are simple or easier are, are, are in any way less than very, very hard. But I do think, I, I continue to believe that there are efficiencies uh, in government that we, they, we can continue to get. I, I, I really believe that. That doesn't necessarily mean we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be looking for additional reductions, but I do think you can trit out, continue to trit out. Uh, and I can go through some examples of that. I mean, we've had to, in our division of family services, you know, original, originally there was most offices in every, every county. I mean, I, we found ways to regionalize that sort of stuff. Uh, I think that by merging some various labs and, and whatnot, by doing more telepresence and less traveling, I think there's ways to lean it up. Uh, so I, I would say, Bob, that I, I still think there are efficiencies we can gather in government uh, um, and still... Uh, Protect. I also think that, that asking the legislature to work with us, uh, I think the Senate has taken very, very seriously. The rebooting process did that for a second year. Uh, last year, that process assisted us in, in a couple of ways. I mean, a real simple example of that, folks, that, that helped us recently here was the merger of the Highway Patrol and the Water Patrol. That saves us $3 million a year uh, for a couple of reasons. You got, you know, only one headquarters, and, and you also were in a situation where all that extra overtime you were having to pay because of this. Especially like the way the Ozarks folks work in double and triple shifts, our comp time you have to pay, you don't have to because you can go shift work. It also moved about 84 wheel drive vehicles into the highway patrol, which helped us in a snowstorm. But that saves $3 million. I think there's more areas like that that we're looking at that can continue to do that. But uh, I appreciate uh, people that take public service uh, as a calling, uh, and, and I look, I'm going to do everything I can uh, to, uh, to, uh, to make sure that, that they have. Not only jobs and careers. But I also think that, that Bob, just to, I'll answer Procol real quickly here. Everybody says, well, Nixon didn't give, or the legislature or whatever didn't give the state workers a raise again this year. Uh, I think it's important to note that in our in our merit system, 7,400 people were promoted last year. Uh, I, I think that, that when folks talk about uh, you know going to work, I mean, it's important for folks that, that take public sector work as, as as a career to understand that that's the beginning, that's the first step. And if you're only thinking about what, what cost of living increase you get, I mean, uh, we, we, need, we need employees that want to get promoted that want to have more, more, uh, uh, more responsibility. Um, and I think the best way to move forward in this, uh, uh, in this economy, even in the public sector work, is to look for getting additional responsibilities. Uh, not just look at that simple, what's the, what's the goal, but instead try to, try to gather more work. And I, I could go through example after example uh, of folks that really stepped up and helped in that regard. Uh, in public sector and been promoted because of it. 7,400 promotions. I mean, all those promotions got, got additional pay and got additional responsibility. We're going to continue to try to incent the, the, the folks that, that uh, want to help us make government more effective.